Hey guys, Tammy Treyer, treyerwilderness.com, and I'm joined with my extremely awesome mountain man and husband and caregiver at this point in our lives. <laughs> this is my husband, Glenn Treyer. We um, have been going through some health issues, as many of you know, and many of you wanted to know what was going on, but we felt that God was telling us the timing wasn't right to share it and also that I really needed to pay attention to my health and really rest and and just come together as a family because it was a very, very struggling time for me and in turn for them as well. Um, caused a lot of stress and struggles for my men just because they were watching me deteriorate basically. But um, I'm just going to give you a little history here. Uh, for those of you um, that aren't familiar with us, you can find our website at treyerwilderness.com. It's T-R-A-Y-E-R wilderness.com. We live off-grid 100% with solar power in the northern Idaho wilderness. And we've been here six years, it will be in May. And over the last three years, my health has been extremely deteriorating. Just oddities that weren't explained, that um, doctors laughed at, um, just... It wasn't something, it wasn't just one thing. It was a barrage of things that just didn't make sense. And over the last three years, my health has been extremely deteriorating, but we really saw a huge deterioration after our hunting season this year. And um, during those three years, I've been self-diagnosing. I'm very big into natural medicines and into natural health. And... Um, I could tell my adrenals weren't right. I could tell my liver wasn't functioning well. I could tell my lymph glands were struggling. I could tell my thyroid was struggling. All these things were struggling. And, and praise the Lord that I had enough knowledge to know to just, I was functioning on symptoms. I certainly wasn't working on the main cause. But I was at least lessening my struggles, which Lord only knows where I'd be if I hadn't done that. Um, we found out in November what was going on with me. Um, leading up to that though, I had helped my mountain boy deliver three cords of firewood and felt great, had a really good day. But that evening, I couldn't feel my fingers right. And, and I thought, well, maybe I pinched something. But then it was also my feet and my legs and it was my hands and both arms. It wasn't just one spot. So had I pinched something, it would be a little different. I also got the sensation of neuropathy going up my arms where I couldn't feel anything and I felt tingly. And the next morning I went to pick up one of my ball canning jars that had oatmeal in it and it had this much in it and I couldn't pick it up. To give you an idea, I like to work out and I had been lifting 85 pounds on the weight bench months before. And so I'm a very fit person so to have this all of a sudden set in was a little scary to say the least and I had a friend my good dear friend Gudrun who told me I had lupus I had another dear friend who told me she felt I had Lyme and I had all the symptoms I had also had symptoms of MS and fibromyalgia and I had um, my abdominal area from my rib cage down to my pelvic area was swollen for months. I couldn't sit straight for more than 15 minutes. I couldn't lay flat without pain and I couldn't stand for long without pain. So it all kind of escalated after the firewood incident and things got really bad. And we were searching and I had done some tests and I was waiting for the results. And honestly, you will hear us talking about this more moving forward. Today is just to share with you a little bit about what's going on, but the miracles that happened during this. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me cry. God has had his hand on us in such a big way. And God showed us what was going on with me. And I know that for you out there that is a non-believer, that's going to be hard to swallow. But bear with me. Because um, it ends up that a lot of the other people that are finding the doctor that I did are finding her the same way. Now, I don't just have... Through, I, through faith. Through, through faith and through divine intervention and God leading them 
to answers. And I praise God, first for leading our family, always and in everything we do. I mean, we've seen his miracles and seen his hand in our whole adventure out here. And But this has been unbelievably eye-opening. And I'm hoping that it's contagious and that you folks can see how awesome God is and how awesome he works. But I don't just have one illness. I have three. And it started out that... You know, I was pretty sure I had Lyme disease based on some of the symptoms I have. However, the, I, I have Lyme disease. It has been confirmed that I have Lyme disease. I also have a low number of cancer in my body. Both of which we are treating naturally and both of which we are being very successful with. The third thing that is going on with my, well, that was going on with my body in all honesty, is more deadly and vicious and ugly than either of those two things. And many of you out there are suffering or have suffered from cancer or from Lyme. The reason that the third thing is so devastating is because people are dying. And this is an area where our medical system is failing. I believe that there is a time for modern medicine, but this situation, this illness, sickens me to know that modern medicine is failing and there are so many people losing their lives over this and this is why I am sharing this with you today. And this is this is something that you won't hear the cause of death of it. They won't say, well, she died from this. Um, and like she said earlier, um, she had a doctor basically laugh at her and I was sitting right there in the doctor's office and she said oh she's full of poop basically is what she said and there's nothing wrong with you um, and many many people are being put on antidepressants um, saying that it's all in their head and and it's not so I'm hoping and praying that through this video we will reach people that are struggling and need help I'm going to share a story with you to give you a little history on this, okay? Um, in 1990, 1991, I had breast lumps removed from my right breast. It made a very considerable difference in the two of them, but continued on and in 2004, I had to have additional lumps removed and I questioned the doctor from the same breast because of the difference in size. I'm not a vain person, but it was something personal for me, you know. Um, so when I inquired about that, the option of saline breast implants was an option. Now, I'd like to also say that at my age now, you look back and you wish your younger self was wiser. However, I am a true believer that everything happens for a reason and I truly believe that this situation was meant for me to help people I have a voice and I have a f people following me on my radio show and on our YouTube channel and through my writing and I have a voice and I need to help people so there will be people out there that will have negative things to say and God love you have at it because I don't care I know what I went through and I know what these women are going through. I had and was suffering from and was losing my life, literally losing my life, to breast implant illness. Now, these are approved by the FDA. That is a whole other conversation that we won't even get into today because I can't express to you how I feel about that. But, these are the saline ones, the ones that are supposed to be safe. And mind you, those of you that watch our channel because it is a clean, family-friendly channel, I promise you that this will stay clean and family-friendly. This is something that teens, these young girls, need to hear. And the boys need to hear because there are women losing their husbands because they don't want to be, continue to be married to them because they are explanting and will not be the same uh, 
well-endowed woman that they were. And I, I, I've got kind of something to say about that. If you're one of these men that would leave their wife over something like that just because of a pair of breasts, you don't love them. You do not love them. You love their body. And get over yourself. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> but that is what I was suffering from. And that's why I want to share it today. Because, like I said, I had saline implants. They are an outer, the exterior is silicone, the interior is saline. The women that have silicone, which has also been brought back onto the market and are approved by the FDA, are toxic, beyond toxic. I can't even begin to imagine how those women are suffering. Mine is just an outer, was, was just an outer shell. However, because of the saline in the inside and the leakage and the failure of equipment and the fact that they are loaded with heavy metals, I am, that was part of my struggles was the platinum and the tin and the heavy metals that are now in my system. But the bigger struggle was the mold and the bacteria and the fungus that was a result of these and women are going back to the same doctors that implanted them and did the augmentation and they are willing to admit that the struggles they are having are because of these implants women are dying because their liver is shutting down they are being misdiagnosed because they do have symptoms of fibromyalgia MS lupus Lyme disease and so many other autoimmune diseases but because they have symptoms they don't actually physically have it so when they are tested they are coming up as negative to these diseases however their body is suffering from the symptoms of those those diseases I have to speak up a little bit with the rain <laughs> yeah, we're getting rained on right now thankfully we're in a nice cozy spot thank you George and Gudrun but I wanted to share this today with you because as soon as I was in the recovery room, an hour after my surgery, he was just amazed at how my face and my color looked. You could, you could see a difference in her just in an hour. I mean, just in one hour, you could see a, a huge difference in just her face, even her hands, you could see a difference. And uh, I'm just going to kind of jump in here. Um, I've talked to, <laughs> while we were down there, I've talked to different women that were in there and different men, their husbands, that were there with them for the exact same thing. And it's unreal. I mean, the the... Men, I talked to one individual who, he said, he, he didn't know what was happening to his wife. He thought, man, what's, good, what's going on with her? Is she just becoming lazy? Because he'd come home from working all day and have to wash the, do the wash, cook dinner, wash the dishes, do everything else. And they had some major struggles over that. And, um... You know, he's like, what's going on with her? Then they found out. And talking two different... She basically... that Her... She um, had no... No drive, no nothing. I mean, she was tired all the time, run down. She, she'd get up in the morning and she felt like she worked the full day. Um, but... I've talked to... Not just one, but many, 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 many men and ladies that were there for the exact same thing. And it's unreal how they, a lot of them, they have the same symptoms and, and so on. It, it's, it's unreal the disastrous effects these have on these women. I mean, 
the one woman um, talked to right like her constantly um, going she's a jogger she she worked out she all this stuff and it, and all of a sudden she just started going downhill and she couldn't she couldn't do it she just physically could not do it anymore um, and it was just unreal unreal the, the effects of this and how many women were there we were there for 17 days and we had visits what five days with her mm -hmm. in those five days we met well over 15 women that were there that thought that that, that were dying also they, and when I say dying I want you to understand it's for real my liver was shutting down my gallbladder, my my abdomen was so swollen. Like I said, I couldn't kidneys. sit. I had a, a, a hiatal hernia because everything was so swollen, and there was nowhere for anything to go. I couldn't lay on my sides at night because whatever was swollen would pinch things and cause circulation issues. I mean, it was awful. And I'm a pusher. I'm a go-getter. You guys have watched my videos. You guys see me. I I am like the Energizer Bunny. I just keep going. However, I was almost in need of a wheelchair toward the end. I needed, I couldn't go through the airport to get there. I was scared. Of the, I was concerned what it was going to be like going to the airport because I couldn't sit for more than 15 minutes in a straight position. I didn't know what it was going to be like. And those of you, like she said, those of you who know her know that she is a go-getter. There was days where she couldn't even get out of bed and because of this. The headaches, the headaches and the, and the head pain that I would get and nausea and just so much to go with it and the thing that scared me most was because I'm a go-getter I'm a pusher and I push through things and I've been pushing through this for three years and it finally you know God God revealed it to me what was going on and I am so thankful because I'm getting my life back but the thing is I want to give other people their lives back if you have implants whether they are saline or silicone and you are having odd struggles and you are not getting anywhere with your doctor there's they will they will most likely say it's all in your head there was many women down there that I talked to that they said their doctor literally told them oh it's all in your head it's just it, it's all up here there's nothing really wrong with you it's and put them on antidepressants and, and all kinds of other stuff but it was all in their head their body was shutting down it was not in their head Something that's really important is the process that you go about getting your implants removed. And I want to just mention that today because there are many doctors who will just remove the implants. But I went all the way to Georgia because I knew that Dr. Susan Kolb was going to be able to help me. She has a book. It's called The Naked Truth About Breast Implants From Harm to Healing. Thank you. And you can find that real quickly by going to treyerwilderness.com slash the naked truth and you will be able to get a direct link to the book. Her book is eye-opening and, and the thing is folks, it's a known fact that these are causing problems. It's a known fact. For whatever reason that you chose to implant, my heart just drops to my toes when I think of all you women that have had mastectomies and have had these outers put in there and slowly inflated into your bodies and now you've been sick the remainder of your lives thinking it's because of your chemo and your radiation when it's from your implants so I want I want all of you to really think about your friends your family your children and help them make the right choices I didn't make the right choice I believe back in 2004 however again I feel blessed to have gone through this and have had God shine his hand, his light and just have his hand on us the way he did. I know he wants me to help people and that's what I'm going to do. So when you go to have your implants removed, there are lots of options. There are women that are getting other implants put back in. There's no way on this green planet I will ever do that again. I value my life too much. I value my family too much. And I think that we should be judging people by their hearts, not by their outward appearance. Yeah. Never, nevertheless, you need to 
check out Dr. Kolb. You need to go to her website at plasticos.com. It's P-L-A-S-T-I-K-O-S.com. I'll have it showing underneath in the video or at the end in the, in the show notes and in the description. The reason you need to look up... Can I say something? Yes. Um, sorry, just jumping in here. Um, with that book, she was reading it and oh, she gosh. would read some things to me um, that are in, that's in the book. She would, she would read about those stories in there of other women yeah. and she would read some of these things and it was like hearing about her. It was like, you know, the, the, the problems she was having, the massive headaches, the, the nausea, the, the weight gain. Weight gain was huge. She would work out like crazy and gain weight. I gained five pounds every time I worked out. Needless to say, I stopped. I gained it, 25 pounds in a matter of six months, and that was inflammation due to the fungus and mold in my body. But it was it was like when she was reading this stuff to me, um, it, it was like hearing about her. Yeah. And it's, it's unreal. Um, about how these things work, what's going on in there. And it was a progressive thing because I'd have, I had problems with my ovaries one, at one point and it would just progress from one thing to the next. Headaches I'd have, oh my word, I feel for any of you out there that get migraines, I would just get a headache that was above my eyebrow and it would cause my head right here to actually sink in. It was that bad and I would feel like I'd would have to throw up or pass out it was it's just awful it was just awful and feeling like you're dying is an awful thing you know um, I found out that I had breast implant illness in November and I chose to wait for Dr. Kolb and let me tell you there were a couple times where I didn't think I was gonna make it that long honestly I really didn't my my liver was giving me such trouble and but I knew if I didn't go to her, and I'm going to explain why it was so important for me to go to her. She is not only a medical doctor, she is also a naturopath. Part, the biggest part of this illness is the fact that you have dangerous toxins in your body. So first of all, removing them was incredibly huge, that within the first three days, the symptoms I was experiencing started dissipating and going away. I could sit and I could bend to touch my knees even. I mean, I'm one that I could flat hand to touch the floor in normal circumstances. I could even bend to touch my knees. It hurt because my abdomen was so swollen. And it totally went down. I haven't had problems with my hiatal hernia. I've got a long road ahead of me though because I've got about six months to a year of detoxing to get the chemicals and the mold and the bacteria and the funguses and the silicone out of my system. So thank you FDA for the gracious gift you've given me and many other women and I hope you reconsider what you're doing. And again, I don't want to go on that bunny trail, that's a whole other subject. but. If you choose to get, if you feel this is the struggle you are having, please don't wait. You are dying from the inside out, and you need. To it is. It is. Like the doctor said, she she said to the doc that she felt like she was dying, and the doctor said, "You know what? You were dying. It wasn't. You were just feeling that way." Yeah. He, she said, "You were dying." And there, there are. I'm told there is a group on Facebook that grows by 50 people a day and when I was down there it was up to 1700 women and it's going to continue to grow and there are many many sick women so if you have a significant other that is struggling and is sick and is complaining they're sick and you're thinking they're a hypochondriac please think otherwise because they are sick and they need to be taken care of and they need to be taken care of right the, reason I went to Dr. Cole is she not only removes the implant, she removes the whole capsule of tissue around the implant because it is infected with either silicone or bacteria. She also evaluates all your lymph glands. She only removes if she feels it is absolutely necessary. I did not have to have lymph glands removed. 
She is very cautious. She is very thorough. And so I had the major surgery of removing that capsule as well as the implant. And now I am on her protocol to detox my body. Other plastic surgeons are just removing the implant. They aren't evaluating the damage done. They aren't getting rid of that tissue. So you're going to remain sick. And they don't do any detoxes. She is the only one I found that did this thorough of a detox. I want my life back. I like hiking 21 miles in a day with my men. I've been able to walk not even a quarter of a mile without help. She couldn't even walk hardly around the house without having struggles. So I really really want to encourage you to spread the word. If you know of friends and family and you see them, they are sick and that they are getting sicker and they have implants, that is what is causing it. If you are considering implants, please think twice. It's not worth it. It is totally not worth it. It was something for me to look at and something that was that he was able to look at. But that's all it was for. It was to give me a better feeling about myself. And quite honestly, that better feeling is, is nothing compared to having my life and to enjoying my life with my family and living my dreams. And again, it was a choice I made. And we all have to live with the choices we make. But I, I'll be darned if I'm going to sit here and not help other people through this because it's awful. And, and you men that might be watching this... Um, You know, it's uh, it's not easy. Um, you know, it's kind of it's hard to to go through. Um, you know, it, it it is something that you know you 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 might struggle with. Um, I did in many different ways. Um, you know. It wasn't so much how she would look afterwards, because honestly, I don't care. I'm in love with her and not her body. Um, but, like some of the guys were saying, you know, it's like, man, here I am doing this stuff, and it's what she normally does, but what's going on here? And, you know, a lot of, you know, worrying about her and... and there, there's just, there's a lot of different things that will play into, you know, you're, you're going to have to care for her and, and really take care of her and, and stuff like that. Um, and it can be hard. Uh, it, it can be. But it's, I guess what I'm getting at is, is you know, you said for better or worse. You know, you didn't say, well, just because her body looks like this, I'm going to have her around just for now, and then her body don't look good, I'll see you later. You know, that's not what you said. You said, for better or worse, sickness and health. And that's what it's about. You know, and it will be hard. It is hard. I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. It, it, is, it is hard. But... If you're considering, if you're considering, you know, one of those self-centered guys that's considering, would consider leaving because she doesn't have them anymore, you know, get over your bad self. Deal with it. You married her and you said, for better or worse. You did not say, oh, well, I married her for her body. If you did, you shouldn't have married her. So, it will be hard, yes, but one of the main, main ways, well, the main way that I'm dealing with this and stuff is God. Um, and it doesn't mean just because you, you believe in God or you whatever, uh, doesn't mean that things are going to be easy. That, that, that's not what God tells us. He doesn't say, hey, you, you, you believe in me, you trust in me, and your life's going to be a bed of roses. 
No, that's not what he says, and that's not how it is. Um, done preaching. But, um, it is hard. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. But if you love her, you'll stick with her. And, uh, just hang in there. You can do it. Would you You're say, a man. Would you say the biggest struggle was more watching me deteriorate and not being able to do anything about it versus the other side of things? Yeah, I'd say, I'd say it's probably, you know, um, just watching her go downhill and, you know, like that one doctor pretty much laughed at her. It's a good thing it wasn't a guy and probably wrung his neck. <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a go-getter, I'm a fighter, I'm a fixer, I'm a doer. And, uh, to sit back, have to sit back and not be able to help her and be able to fix her, it, it's hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard. But, thank God we're, we're on a different road now. Yes, we are. And thank you all for your prayers for my men because I saw them struggling and I knew how hard it was for them, you know. What was really awesome about this experience is that I knew God led me to answers. And I knew God led me to Dr. Cole. I also knew that we didn't have two pennies to rub together that would get us to Georgia on our own. And, but I knew what God was telling me. And I'm very in tune with my body. And that was another scary aspect of this is that I am in tune with my body and I could feel things failing. God was my rock as well as this guy right here and my mountain boy you know I could not have done it alone and what was really awesome is I went to him and I said I know what I have I know who I need to go to and I know that God is telling me to step out in faith and I did I stepped out in faith and I made an appointment for something that I couldn't pay for and that I couldn't afford plane tickets to get to and I want to say thank you to all you folks. Yeah. A very big thank you. Um, to all you who uh, gave um, to our situation because we couldn't afford it. Um, I'm not the type of person, she's not the type of person to look for handouts. It was very hard. <laughs> very hard. Um, I'm not that way at all. You ask anybody that knows me. But uh, I want to thank you, Vicki Lynn thank Haycraft. You. Thank you very much. Because when I told him that we needed to do this and I was fully stepping out in faith and I fully trusted God in this whole situation, and you know, I only wavered twice and they were two pretty cir big circumstances. It did make me waver, and that's because I didn't think I was going to make it. But as soon as I told him what I was doing, Vicki Lynn Haycraft, who is a dear friend of mine from realfoodliving.com, started a fundraiser for us. And it was very humbling. It was very hard to accept those gifts, but you know, God wants us to come together in these situations and help one another. And it's not our money. It's God's money. And I, I too want to thank all of you that contributed because you did save my life and you gave me back the opportunity to help you in some way. So <laughs> I thank you for that because I was dying and it's only right for me to turn this around and pay it forward and help as many people as I can. So I know this isn't our normal video and I thank you for listening, it is a little long. And uh, please don't hesitate to help your friends. You know, breast implants are, I guess, a weird thing to talk about and a weird situation because some people view them in a... Uh, Self-centered yeah, light and, 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 you know... In a negative is, light, you know, you know, not so much in, in a positive light, I guess. I don't know, but it's just an odd thing to talk about. But it's something that I am very led to share right now. And we thank all of you that are following us and look forward greatly to sharing more of our knowledge on 
all the things we know. We've not been doing so good at keeping up with that because uh, I couldn't keep the pace anymore. So I'm taking it easy. I'm resting, I'm healing, and I'm allowing God to show me what I need to do next right now. And taking the time for myself for once to do what I've got to do. But I'm very blessed. We were blessed also when we got home. I put the word out that we needed a tub, and the only thing that would fit in our bathroom is a clawfoot tub. So I put the word out, and a dear friend gifted us with one on our return. And I'm very grateful because part of this is soap, body soaks to remove the silicone. So we've been really blessed through this whole situation, and it is our nature to help others. And I'm open to any conversations at all if you need help you have questions and you feel like reaching out to me you can email me at survive at treyerwilderness.com I my heart is to help you women out there that are struggling right now and know that you're not alone you're not losing your mind you are sick and you do need attention you need the right medical attention because if you don't do them and remove them properly you will remain sick for a long time and you will continue to die inside. And this is not a sales pitch to get you to go to Dr. Cobb. No. Um She was a godsend. She was a She angel. knows her stuff. You know, we are getting nothing out of it, saying no. about her, talking about her. No. Um it, 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 nothing about us. And she's she's got amazing programs up and coming that aren't quite released yet. But I'm going to have her on my radio show, on Mountain Woman Radio. They're also being streamed here on my YouTube channel. So she will share a lot of information during that interview. I know, and it'll be hard to end that interview because she is just an incredible walking wealth of information. But check out her book. If you are struggling, read her book. You will be amazed. Your eyes will be open, and there'll be even additional knowledge. Um, the sure, There'll be additional knowledge for you in there as well because I would have gladly gone somewhere close had I been able to but doing my research and I encourage everybody no matter what you're doing to always research things do your own due diligence and, mm -hmm. and check around because my parents were very alarmed at my state of health they were concerned for me they wanted me to just go to an emergency room I knew that wasn't the option. I knew that wasn't going to get me anywhere. I knew second opinions weren't going to get me anywhere because most doctors are not familiar with this or they push it under the rug. And Dr. Cole will take care of you. And I want to see you well. I want to see you being able to do the same things I am going to be able to do because I'll be darned if I'm going to sit on the couch for any more months <laughs> than I have to. It's very hard for me. I'm an outdoor girl. This has been a very big struggle, but I'm just so grateful to have my life back and I'm thankful for all of you. And we want to help. So if there's any way we can help you, don't ever hesitate to reach out to us. We uh, pray for people all the time. So if you need something, you know, if you have a prayer request, feel free to reach out to us. It is a blessing to us to be able to do that for you. And we just thank you all for your prayers. I was blessed in such big ways to have so many people all across the world praying for me. And that means so much to me. So you have no idea. So just thank you. Um, there will be more about this. I'm writing a post also about all the blessings because I didn't even share <laughs> a fourth of all the blessings that we've experienced. And it, it's neat to see God's hand at work and on. And, and you know what? I'm stepping out in faith every day. I'm letting him lead the way. I'm not doing it anymore on my own. I mean, you know, I always had him in front, but I want him telling me what I'm doing next. So... Draw close to God, and not just when you're sick, not just when you're down. I spend a good half hour to an hour every morning with God, and I start my day that way because there's no better way to start it. And, you know, he said about it being hard, I want to commend him publicly because this man has been amazing. I know it's been hard for him, and everybody handles their stresses differently and their fears. And, you know, uh, I encourage you women to look outside of yourself and see how your men are struggling if you are sick because you know everybody reacts differently pay attention to what's going on and understand that it's their fears and their struggles coming out and you you women if you have a guy like me <laughs> <laughs> um 
Good luck. No. Um, I deal with things. I put it inside. I shut it off. And that's that. He thinks. Um, but I can get a little ornery when that happens. And I can get, I guess, ignorant sometimes. And, but don't let that discourage you. Um, either ladies, um, it just deals with it a little bit different than, you know, other people do. They show their hurts in different ways. I was okay, perfectly fine with him yelling at my iPhone that was giving us directions on the highway. <laughs> he did a good job yelling at her. He wasn't yelling at me. <laughs> Stupid things. I hate them. <laughs> oh. But anyway... And, and your children, you know, when you're sick, your children worry. And we were very open with the mountain boy and shared in detail what was going on so he knew. And he, he was relieved because he thought I was dying of cancer. And granted, I did mention I have cancer in my body and I have Lyme disease. And those are two big things. But I'm also a positive thinker. And I think that through my in tuneness with my body and my positive thinking, I'm healing at a very rapid rate. You know, I... I I'm very blessed. You know, I'm still moving slow. I still need help doing things. God love the man who has to put my socks on and my boots every day. <laughs> like I said, it's not easy. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. My little boy, man. He's, he's earned many brownie points through this situation. Many. I could tell you stories, but I will keep his dignity intact. He has been very good. <laughs> and I'm very blessed. And just, just come together as a family. You know, sometimes we pull apart, we allow our our per, our personalities to conflict or our unknowns to cause us struggles, but, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It does. It does. And and you know, I don't want to leave a stone unturned. And I don't want you to leave a stone unturned. I coined a phrase a couple months back that the best parts of life are on the other side of our comfort zone and you know part of our comfort zone sometimes keeps us from stepping out to find out what's wrong I knew in my heart if I would step out of my comfort zone during that situation to find out what's wrong this wasn't even a comfort zone thing it was a knowledge thing I think my comfort zone now is to get past this and to improve and to do what I can do and what I want to do and, and fulfill my dreams because I'm not afraid to stretch that rubber band, okay? I'm not going to hold myself back and that's something that he and I don't do. We, we are go-getters, we are embracers as we call ourselves because if there's something we want to achieve, you know, we work at it and I want to achieve good health and I want to achieve my functionality back in the woods and, and just being able to do the things I used to do. So I encourage you on that, no matter what it is, to step out of your comfort zone. But something I wanted to share that I just brought up is that, you know, I knew in my heart that if I'd go to other doctors with all the symptoms I have, I would have gone through so many tests and exuberated so much money, money we didn't have. And I just knew that wasn't the answer because I knew they wouldn't be able to figure it out. I knew, but I had to keep seeking. So this is where your seeking stops and my knowledge picks up. Let me help you. Share the word, spread the word, and let people know that this, these breast implants are toxic. They are poison. They are absolute poison. Saline is not safe. Saline is poison because it has an outer shell of silicone. And inside it breeds bacteria and leaks toxins that have leached into that saline. They're not safe, folks. They're not. And you're dying. If you have them, you are going to die from the inside out. Get them out. There's there's some new ones that they have out that some of these women are getting, but they have to be changed every, like, ten years. Um, I, I don't know. If it's important to you, it's, it's an, an option. Yeah, for it's me, it's an option, but it's like every ten years you got to go back through it or it will cause the same same struggles again and after I don't know about you but after feeling like I did for three years and looking back I can see things going back to already 2006 2005 but the symptoms are so odd I was getting muscle knots because my body was satch it was it was just 
drained of magnesium and potassium, iodine. I was dehydrated no matter how much I drank. You know, there's just all these odd symptoms that just don't add up to anything, any one particular thing. But guaranteed you will feel better. I can't believe how much better I feel. I can't believe how much better I feel. I'm limited, but you know what? I was limited before. At least I'm feeling better and I have my health. I've been dealing with nausea and head pain for the last eight days mm. on and off eight days maybe a day in there that I didn't but you're gonna progress through this and I'm gonna I'm gonna journal this because this detox is not gonna be easy I knew that because the protocol that I was on before I went down to Georgia was harsh it was very hard on my body um, but it was keeping me alive it was keeping me going till my surgery now I'm removing the things and when you're removing metals and you're removing silicone and you're removing debris from your body uh, you know your body's gonna struggle you're gonna suffer but I'm gonna try to help you the whole way through this um, my natural remedies and things that I do and the protocol Dr. Kolb has me on are amazing and will help you and I, I will I will share everything with you because I want you to heal along with me so I know this has been long and I thank you all for joining us on this and thank you for praying for us being part of this journey if you're going to judge, judge. If I can help somebody and I help people through this video, no. I don't care what you have to say. And I'll keep my mouth shut on that because I yeah, don't. have some words <laughs> They've heard with you, you before. But anyway. <laughs> but I want to help people. So thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. And um, keep us in your prayers. But let us know how we can pray for you too, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to continue on this journey. I can be found on Periscope during the week too at periscope.tv slash Treyer Wilderness and my radio show at Mountain Woman Radio on our website and also on iTunes. I'm going to be, as I feel up to it, getting back into the recordings. It's something I can do and I want to share and help others. So stay tuned for a lot of information on this. And again, if you have questions anytime or prayer requests, email us at survive at treyerwilderness.com. And just thank you. We love you all and appreciate you all. And I hope that I can help someone on this journey. Thanks for listening. God bless. God bless.